Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. Now in today's quick fix it Friday, we're hopefully going to be repairing something, but it's something that's not actually broken, but very soon it will be. I know that's a bit confusing, so let me explain. So today we're going to be looking at this, and this is a Tile wallet card. Now if you don't know what Tile is, it's essentially a sort of tracking network. So I've got this in my wallet, and if I lose my wallet, I can either make this play a little tone so I can hear where my wallet is, or I can mark it as lost, and the Tile network and all the people that use Tile will help find it and get its location. It's a bit like an AirTag, but it's more universal because you can use this on iPhone and Android. And yeah, I love it because it comes in this tiny form factor and it's just like another card in your wallet. So I've got several of these Tile devices. I've got the keyring versions, which I've got on my car keys and my house keys. And obviously I've got this one. And if we look at the app, which I'll put up on the screen here, I can find them just by pressing the button in the app. So if we want to find my wallet, we press the find and it's a it plays a little ditty out of the tiny speaker up there. Now it also works in reverse and you can double press the button and it will make your phone ring. So if you've lost your phone, you can find it by uh, pressing on the tile, but it's not working at the moment because there's a problem with this. And basically this tile has to be thrown away now. And that's because the battery's gone flat. Now the other tiles that I own have got user replaceable batteries. They just use CR cells. But this one, because it's a sealed unit, you can't replace the battery. So they want me to spend another 33 quid to buy a new one with a fresh battery that again, in four or five years time, I'll have to chuck out, which I don't know, feels a bit wasteful. So I thought what I'd do in this is see if we can actually get it open without causing too much damage, replace the battery, and hopefully it will continue to live for another day. I'm not holding out much hope though, because I don't think this is designed to be taken apart. And if we do get it taken apart, then we might have to glue it back together or something like that. But I thought it would be interesting to see what's inside anyway. I'm not going to go to big Clive extremes, but yeah, maybe there's a way of replacing the battery or maybe there's not. Now I did manage to slide my fingernail into this slightly. So I think there's some way of cracking it open. Oh, I mean, yes, that budget went in nicely there. I feel this is glued together in the factory. Definitely getting in slightly, but I'm worried that it's gonna turn a bit Hulk smashy. going. Oh, hello. Oh, what's that? Is that? Oh, that's the speaker. Okay, I thought that was the battery. It's fascinating, this. Now, I don't think this is waterproof or anything like that. So, you know, by breaking it open and then resealing it, I'm not going to destroy any IP rating or anything. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Wow. I've got to be careful now because uh, I think we've got a very flat, not as in, well, I suppose battery wise it is, but yeah, there's like a flat lithium cell and I don't want to pull it apart too much because I think it's actually joined at the bottom here, yeah it is. And obviously if you open lithium cells, there you go, bang. And look, we've got a bit of uh, corrosion there. So, we can see some battery tabs here. This is obviously the button. And the speaker is actually on this side, it's like a piezo, piezo speaker. And there's uh, connectors for it. It's a very, very smart thing, but yeah, we've got some corrosion here. I mean, yeah, I don't, oh, is that, is that as part of the cell? 
Or is that just shield? Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's part of the cell. I think it's shielding. Obviously, I want to tread quite carefully because I don't want to set the studio on fire. I did wonder if this would have some sort of coin battery in here just kind of tucked away. Oh, sod it. I've ventured, nothing gained. I've got a bit of writing on here. Ultra life, 3.1 volts, 380 milliamp hours. Okay, so this, yeah, is obviously some kind of shielding. And the board is like a flexi board almost. You can see some circuitry on the other side. Yeah, realistically, I'm not going to be able to get the battery out and replace it without damaging more, which is a shame. And obviously, some moisture has got in here at some point. Probably. <laughs> it was probably when me and Vince went to Thorpe Park and we got very, very wet. I was just thinking of a time where I've had my wallet on me and it's got absolutely soaked. And that could have been that time. I might put a picture up on the screen of that. Uh, but yeah, that could be what it is when it got absolutely soaked because I'm, I'm not one for getting my wallet wet. That sounds disgusting. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's going to be easily replaceable. So... I guess I've got to pony up 30 quid and buy myself a new one, which is fine, I suppose. It's a shame, but we've learned something. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about tiles and um, yeah, we've learned about what's inside them. I mean, will that still work? It doesn't feel like it's going to still work. Okay. Well, it's still got some life in it. I mean, I might have to put some tape around it. That's a shame. Maybe, maybe if you're watching this and you've got an idea of how I could maybe replace the battery without destroying the circuit board or any tips or advice on doing it, that would be greatly appreciated because, uh, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. And I don't think I've seen someone repair something like this before. So, uh, hmm, very interesting. Cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick fix it Friday. I think I have. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now it's game over.